Hello everyone, and today I want to show you the fastest way how we can create React Native applications. And for this tutorial you just need a mobile device, it may be iOS or Android. And if you haven't used React Native before, it is a framework which allows you to build mobile applications. And the biggest benefit of React Native is you can basically use just one language, JavaScript, and you can build cross-platform mobile applications. And if you have experience with React, it will be fairly simple to work with React Native. And there are two different ways how you can create React Native app. The first one is using Expo. The second one is use plain React Native app. If you're going to use a plain React Native, iOS application can be only run on the Mac machines. But if you will use Expo, it will basically allow you to run iOS or Android applications on Windows and Mac OS. And it's basically will transfer the bundle on your phone and you are going to work in native shell. But for the beginning, first of all, we need to open the terminal. In our terminal, we need to check our node version. Node space dash V. As you see in my, my node version is 13. Your node version needs to be higher than 10. If you don't have node installed or your node version is lower than 10, you need to go on the Node.js website and download the current or the latest build of the Node.js and install it. The next step after installing the node, you need to install the Expo dependency globally. In order to do this, we need to type npm i expo dash cli space dash dash global and enter. What it will do, it will basically install the Expo dependency globally on your machine, on your computer. And behind the scenes, Expo is just a wrapper around React, create React native app. Okay, after our global Expo dependency installed, we need to, we need to create the project. In order to do this, we need to type expo in it. My first mobile app. Enter. Here we're going to have a different options. We want to choose the blank. And this will create for us the blank React Native application. Then, when our project got created, we want to change direct directory, navigate to the folder, and we want to open the code editor. In my case, I'm going to use the VS Code. Then, as you see, we got our project. Then, let's go back to terminal, and we want to start the project. Just type yarn start, or if you use npm, you can type npm start. After our project got created, you will see that we got this QR code. The next step what we need to do, we basically need to take our phone. And if you have iPhone, you need to open Apple Store. If you have an Android phone, you need to use the Google Play Store. But it's pretty much similar step. You open the App Store. Then you need to search for Expo. And you need to install Expo Client. After in installing the Expo Client, you need to open your camera and navigate to the QR code. If you will see, we got the pop up on the top of our iPhone screen which says Open an Expo. We want to click this. After clicking this pop-up, what it will do is gonna basically make a bundle on our iPhone. As you see, it's already made a bundle and a started application on my phone. Right now, what we can do is we can open our code editor. 
open the app.js and if you use react it's going to be pretty familiar to you you can modify this text right now on the screen let's change it to hello world let's type hello world and save it it's refreshing and we got our first mobile application ready thanks for watching if you love this video please leave a like and if you have questions you can write it down in the comments and i will make another video for you and in the next tutorial i will show you how you can set up expo with ios simulator or android emulator thanks for watching